Tim T here with episode 27 of my Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. <laughs> I tried saying that as fast as I can. I need to slow down when I'm saying that, so I'll start doing it right now. Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, MRVLX17, with episode 7... Not 17. Episode 27 of my Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Let's Play. We, uh... uh defeated you, Bill, who was the final boss. Technically speaking, these are probably all... All bosses. Or the final opponent in this arc, the GX arc. And, uh, Jesse, who, honestly, this dude didn't take that long. I think that video is under 15 minutes long with others from this series. It was, like, 30 minutes, so. Anyway, in this episode, we're going to be taking down the, uh, the GX DLC pack duels. Uh, anyway, off topic, what did you guys do this week? Uh, hopefully something awesome. Because all I did this week was, actually, I did a lot, actually, <laughs> what I'm saying. Uh, my birthday was last week, last Saturday, not yesterday, not, uh, the 10th, I mean. My birthday party was on the 10th, we went to Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk, stuff like that. And Wednesday I saw a movie with my mom, we saw The Martian, which is a fantastic movie starring Matt Damon, Kristen Wiig, and Jeff Daniels. Such a good movie. Uh, and this, uh, last Saturday... By last Saturday, I mean two days ago, I saw, on Blu-ray, I saw the movie San Andreas starring Dwayne Johnson. Decent movie. It's not the best movie, but it's a decent movie. Uh, I'm not a big fan of disaster movies at all, but that movie was definitely a little bit better than I expected. I get paranoid when watching disaster movies. Okay. Unbelievable. Unbel- I hate it. I- <laughs> Try not to cuss or anything like that. So I'll use my E emergency call. And I choose Soft Choice. Um I'll go with Neos. And I'll set Crevo. I made a mistake a few last attempt of this ep let's play. Yes, attempt. I don't know why I keep losing to this guy. But basically, I summoned Crevo in attack mode on accident. I have nothing on my field and he's already ha he already has his strongest monsters. This is stupid. It's not going to do anything. You're just wasting that card. That only affects the monster, not the spell card that was activated. That's one strategy I could do. Luckily I have another backup too. <laughs> and I have a Neos in my graveyard, which I guess I could use a little bit later, but... Uh, I can't do anything else, no summoning or setting. All the cards in my hand are... Well, they're not useless, but I mean, they're not useful now. <laughs> awesome! Awesome! Awesome. Did I mention awesome? <laughs> uh, hopefully I could win this time, because I've lost to this guy so many goddamn times. I'm actually nervous. I'm actually really, really, really nervous. I 
can't tell you why. I, I can tell you why, too. The necker shade in the graveyard. For later. What in the freaking world are <laughs> so, air how to work, huh? So, I'll summon my Neos using Necroshade's effect, which is basically when he's in the graveyard, I can special summon or uh, tribute summon a level 5 or higher elemental hero monster from my hand <laughs> without having to tribute actual cards. And I'll activate my Call of the Haunted to summon my second Neos. But wait, because I am completely certain that he's going to have some super bat crap crazy, you know, plans. Let's see. Face down. Hmm, what could it be? Uh, Mirror Force, Dark Hole, uh, you name it. What could it be? Can I? What can I even fusion some? I have on the field. Uh, <laughs> I don't think there's much. Um, see? That's one way to keep stalling. Probably giant germ. Not not this close to victory. I guarantee that was John Germ. John Germ is like a stalling champion. This next one's going to be definitely a lot more difficult. <sighs> you know what? I don't want to take that a chance of restarting that and having to lose to that duel many more times. Even if I lose to this, our next opponent. 
I'll fight him. Okay. How much do you want to bet he's gonna have the freaking god card? The freaking god card. Golf card. <laughs> the freaking golf card. <laughs> so check our fusion. Do we have some masks? These are cool. Shining, which needs... Actually, I already have the, the cards I need to make this. So I have a fire and a wind. So the fire is... Wow. What are the odds of the card being that? Wow. Just... <laughs> Thank you. 
Ooh, we got some choices. Okay, um... Actually, that's good. <laughs> so I'll choose... What's this guy's a f uh, d d d d d uh, this guy? I mean, I do want to attack really badly because I could probably. Fi I think I'll finish him off actually. Die, you stupid! I hate Mirror Force more than any other card in the entire game. And I hate this stupid asshole for using it. Every freaking time. Every time I have a chance of winning, there's always one stupid retarded card they play. That gives complete bull the new meaning to the word bullshit. Yeah, when I get angry, I stutter a lot. <laughs> I mean, I still have like another turn or so before I really need to do something, but. That's another mirror force. There's no way that's not a mirror force. There's no way. Hmm, tough choice. Actually, not really. Mm -hmm. So close to winning the game, but no! <laughs> Thank you. 
Get the fuck out of my house. Or should I say game? Because technically speaking, we're not. Well. Uh, never mind. <laughs> I just can't believe the amount of bullshit I just experienced. I can't believe the amount of bullshit I just experienced. I can't. I can't. At all. We already saw this. I hate cussing during my videos, but this game just brings out that part of me. Actually, pretty much every game I play brings out that part of me. I just want a chance to win instead of having to lose a thousand times. I had like the best chance of winning possible, but no. It just had to throw crap in my face and just say, screw you, you lose. Oh hey, Mirror Force! I swear, what kind of effect used to be different? I think it used to be when this card's a normal summon, you can add a palmization to your, from your deck to your hand. <sighs> they changed it. What masks do I have by attribute wise? And I promise, guys, I'll stop yelling. I honestly need to break that habit more than you think. I'm truly sorry about why I do this. I I need some anger management for sure. Or I just need to work on my stress, not stress, but my anger. It's not a big deal though, don't worry about that. I could fusion to make uh, Trinity, but I don't want to because Trinity is a good card. 
Excuse me, mask. Trinity's a good card, and he's gonna have Mirror Force. Oh my god, I hate Mirror Force so much. I mean, even I think using it is a stupid choice. And that's saying a lot. Wow! I don't need to use Woodman's Effect anymore! <laughs> uh, <clears throat> He's a good defense, so I don't really want to, you know, discard him. Sorry this is taking a while, I just don't really have anything I can do. That because he's gonna have another mirror force. Somehow, he always gets like two or three of the mirror forces in his hand right up. Right straight up. afraid one of those face downs is mirror force. I'm always afraid of mirror force. Like, not like phobia afraid, but just Hmm. I 
Try not to be this slow. Victory. Ha <laughs> ha! I knew she counted for herself because I've seen one of my friends use this card before and it does count for herself, so. I knew I had something in there. <laughs> Well, at least I got a Mirror Force out of it. <laughs> Pretty good card. So that's the uh, GX arc. So in the next episode, we're going to be starting the 5Ds, which hopefully isn't going to be as difficult. <laughs> I think so far the GX is the longest of the two I've done. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.